What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything? What if our universe has been here before, expanding, collapsing, and beginning again in an endless cosmic rhythm? When astronomers pointed the James Webb Space Telescope toward the most ancient light in existence, they expected to see the faintest newborn galaxies, small and chaotic. But instead, Webb revealed something no one was prepared for. Fully formed galaxies that appear to be older than the universe itself. These galaxies, shining from the edge of time, are forcing scientists to ask the unthinkable. What if the Big Bang was not the birth of the universe, but just its latest heartbeat? The story begins with light. Every photon Webb captures has been traveling for billions of years. The farther it travels, the older the moment we see. Webb's infrared eyes were built to pierce cosmic dust and reach back to the first 300 million years after the Big Bang, the supposed dawn of structure and light. But within its first year of observations, Webb detected a dozen galaxies so massive and luminous that, according to our cosmological models, they simply shouldn't exist. Their redshifts, how much their light has been stretched by expansion, place them close to 13.6 billion years in the past, and yet their size and brightness make them look like mature galaxies billions of years older than they should be. The contradiction is staggering. If our universe is 13.8 billion years old, how can galaxies appear to be older than that? Some researchers call them impossible galaxies, others call them ghosts from before time. But everyone agrees on one thing. These discoveries are rewriting the timeline of creation itself. To grasp the scale of the problem, think of the universe as a 24-hour clock. If the Big Bang happened at midnight, then the first stars should begin forming around 1 a.m. Galaxies should start to cluster by 3 a.m. But Webb is spotting giant spiral-like systems just a few minutes after midnight, structures that shouldn't even have the ingredients to exist yet. At first, astronomers thought the data might be wrong. Maybe the red shifts were miscalculated. Maybe the light was distorted by dust. But every recalculation confirmed the same thing. These galaxies are real, they are massive, and they are ancient beyond reason. That's when the theories began to shift. Enter Professor Rajendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa. In 2023, Gupta proposed a radical new model that might explain Webb's impossible galaxies without breaking physics. According to him, the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old. It's closer to 26.7 billion. In this model, the cosmos didn't spring from a single instant of creation. It evolved from earlier epochs through cycles of expansion and transformation. The Big Bang in this view isn't the start of everything. It's just its latest rebirth in an ongoing process. Gupta re-examined Einstein's equations of general relativity and combined them with what cosmologists call tired light theory. The idea that photons lose energy over time not only through cosmic expansion, but also through interactions with matter and gravity itself. When he recalculated cosmic ages under this framework, the early galaxies suddenly made sense. There was enough time for them to grow, evolve, and shine. If Gupta is right, then the James Webb Telescope may have just given us the first observational evidence that the universe is far older than we ever imagined, and that it may have existed before the Big Bang. But let's step back. What does it actually mean for the universe to be the same again? Einstein's equations allow for a dynamic universe that can both expand and contract. In the 1920s, physicist Alexander Friedman showed that depending on density, the universe could one day reverse its expansion, collapsing in a big crunch. Some modern cosmologists believe that such a collapse could trigger another explosion, a new Big Bang leading to a cyclical universe that endlessly renews itself. In this framework, Time isn't a straight line, it's a loop. Imagine the cosmos like a heartbeat. Expansion, contraction, rebirth. Each cycle erases much of the old structure, but leaves faint imprints, ghosts of past universes embedded in the cosmic background. Now, what if Webb's 15 strange galaxies are those ghosts? 
ancient survivors from a previous cycle, still glowing faintly through the haze of our new universe. That would mean our cosmos is not a one-time miracle, but part of an eternal continuum, Einstein's dream of a universe without true beginning or end. When Webb's instruments captured the light from these galaxies, astronomers noticed something even more curious. Their chemical fingerprints showed elements heavier than helium, oxygen, carbon, even iron. These elements require multiple generations of stars to create. That means by the time Webb saw them, these galaxies had already lived through several stellar lifetimes. That shouldn't be possible only a few hundred million years after the supposed beginning. Either star formation in the early universe happened at speeds our models can't explain, or these galaxies had a head start, forming in a previous epoch and surviving the Big Bang transition itself. In both cases, we are forced to rethink what the beginning really means. Of course, not everyone is convinced. Many scientists argue that these observations could still fit within the standard model if we tweak a few assumptions. Maybe dark matter condensed faster than expected, pulling gas into stars more efficiently. Maybe cosmic dust makes the galaxies appear older than they are. But the more Webb looks, the harder those explanations become. With every new deep field image, the telescope finds more massive, mature galaxies farther back in time. The pattern is undeniable, and it's accelerating the need for new physics. There's another layer to this mystery, and one that brings Einstein back into the conversation. Einstein once introduced a cosmological constant into his equations a kind of repulsive energy that counteracts gravity and keeps the universe stable. Decades later, astronomers discovered that the universe's expansion is actually accelerating, driven by what we now call dark energy. But what if dark energy isn't a modern phenomenon? What if it's the mechanism that causes each cosmic cycle to rebound? When space-time stretches too far, dark energy could reach a critical threshold, tearing the fabric of the cosmos and initiating a new expansion, a new universe born from the ashes of the old. If that's true, then the galaxies Webb is seeing may lie right at that boundary, where one universe ended and the next began. A universe collapsing inward, galaxies drawn together by gravity until matter itself compresses into pure energy. Then, suddenly, a rebound, space inflating faster than light, carrying fragments of the old cosmos into the new. Some of those fragments might survive, their light red-shifted beyond recognition, traveling across epochs until Webb's mirrors finally catch it. That light, the photon striking Webb's detectors today, could be billions of years older than our own universe. It's a poetic thought the ghosts of previous creation cycles still shining across time, whispering, we were here before. But there's more. Webb's data also hints that the fabric of space may not expand uniformly. Certain regions show anomalies, tiny differences in how galaxies cluster and how light bends. These irregularities could be the signatures of leftover structure from an earlier cosmic phase faint imprints of universes past. If confirmed, it would mean we are literally surrounded by evidence that reality is cyclical, that we are living in a universe that's been reborn countless times, each iteration leaving faint echoes in the next. And that could explain why the laws of physics seem so perfectly balanced for life and stability. They might not be finely tuned by chance, they might be the result of billions of cosmic repetitions, each one refining the constants that allow stars, galaxies, and eventually consciousness to exist. Still, caution remains. Science moves slowly, and every extraordinary claim must survive rigorous scrutiny. Researchers will continue to measure these galaxies, analyze their spectra, and test whether alternative explanations could fit. Yet even the skeptics admit something profound. Webb's has already pushed us into a new era of cosmology. For the first time, we are observing not just the beginning of structure, 
but possibly the remnants of universes that came before. It's almost ironic. Einstein spent much of his life trying to understand a timeless universe, a cosmos that simply existed, eternal and self-consistent. The discovery of cosmic expansion seemed to disprove that dream. And now, a century later, the most powerful telescope ever built might be proving him right in a way he never expected. Perhaps the universe really is timeless. Perhaps it expands, fades, and starts again, not as a repetition, but as an evolution. Each cycle learning from the last, carrying forward the seeds of new complexity. And we, the observers, are part of that story. Atoms forged in ancient stars, maybe even from a universe that lived and died before ours. When you look up at the night sky, remember this. The light that reaches your eyes may have begun its journey not just before you were born, not even before Earth existed, but before our universe itself took shape. That light carries memory, ancient, cyclical, eternal. So what does all this mean for the idea of creation? If the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, then perhaps the universe doesn't need a beginning at all. Perhaps existence is simply what the universe does, breathing in and out over eons, creating, erasing, and creating again. Maybe this is why we find structure, order, and beauty written into the cosmos, not because it was designed once, but because it has practiced for eternity. And maybe that's why when the James Webb Space Telescope looked back to the supposed dawn of time, it didn't find chaos, it found memory. So what do you think? Are Webb's ancient galaxies proof that the universe has lived through multiple cycles? Are we seeing evidence of a cosmos far older and wiser than the one described by the Big Bang? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Life for more journeys into the mysteries of time, space, and creation. Because the deeper we look into the universe, the more it feels like we're not seeing the beginning of everything, but the continuation of something eternal.